<laughs> it's back. It's back. We clowning. Oh, and it's so good to be back. I hope my CPU survives. It is not liking this iRacing session right now. <laughs> See how we do. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. Oh, I gotta put in my Discord. Hold on. Look at me, professional streamer. Chat's already talking about Harry Tiller. I love it. <laughs> this is gonna be good. We're gonna go in just a minute here. Like literally one minute from the timer. EJF computer parts cost money. I'm saying. Harry, no way. Sim series clown reel. Maybe the Sim series existed. I ain't gonna say it twice, damn. Yeah, we're back from spraying champagne around the damn podium, and I don't mean Justin. Alright, how we doing? Oh, this is when I usually put on like some jazz or something. Hold on, let me find some music. Uh I know it's kinda quiet and awkward right now. Uh, give me a minute. We won't get this sorted out. All right, how we doing? 
How we do it? This is, you're right, this is most definitely not heat. Let me uh, get my chat somewhere where I can see it. It's good to be back. Uh, I promise this isn't pointing at Jake for a particular reason. All right, we'll get to that. Um, how about that race? How about it? I heard, I've already seen some people who have been uh, upset that we ran green flag for so long, but that's about as good as it damn gets. Holy heck, 100 laps. We got a couple big stars in the show. Um, four wide finish. You kidding me? Oh, I I don't know. I haven't seen it all yet because I was I was I was busy racing in the damn thing. But uh, yeah, that might be perfect. That's up there. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Welcome in. We're gonna turn the jazz down a little bit. Give you a little bit of background noise to go off of, and uh, we'll get started with the show. Simple as that. Uh, now, contrary to the core season two clown reels. I don't have to pull up 500 billion streams and flip through them and, and dig through all the little time codes to find out what happened because you can just save a replay in iRacing. How about that? And there's literally a button to go between the, the, the next incident and the previous incident, so it's perfect. So yeah. Um, I also appreciated that green flag run after <laughs> what happened at the start. So, uh, I'm, I'm looking backwards right now because if I look forwards, my CPU gets mad at me. Because, whole oh baby, we had a big field of cars. If I start lagging, you know why. Um, Ryan Vargas starting on pull. You got Cozy on the outside. Yeah. That's damn cool. Let me make sure the... Uh, yeah, the volume on this is good, right? Alright, cool. Um, first of all... I, j I just want to give, like, a first blood award, okay? Whoever's the first dude to take it three wide. You just get a little shout-out. That's about it. <laughs> So we'll just go from the very start. I mean, I thought everyone was going to be cautious at the start. It's a hundred laps. But I ain't going to name names. I actually, I will name names. That's the whole point of the show. But some people, this is, this is Mr. Anthony Alfredo, uh, didn't feel like being patient. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. You're not late. You just got here in time. We're just starting. But yeah. Um, this was about the same size as the brawl field, honestly. I think we had 24 dudes. I think the brawl field was actually like 26. But because we lost uh, Shield House and uh, Moonhead to the, the iRacing Pro Series stuff, kind of sucks. But, yeah. Oh yeah, Brendan didn't hit the button on the start. I don't blame you, okay? Because for some reason, when you use a set grid in iRacing, and I forgot about this, otherwise I would have reminded people, it sets the grid time to only one minute, instead of the normal two minutes. So I don't blame you for missing the start, Brendan. That's the, that's that's kind of like the grid time should always be two minutes. I don't know why it's only one. But uh, yeah, what's up, Slap? How you doing? But yeah, we're almost twenty-two. Really? Oh, I guess we did have more people than Brawl. Uh, anyway, who's gonna be the first one to take it three wide? We'll give him first blood. I mean, I guess Sloppy Joe, but like he's kind of backing down on the apron. That doesn't that doesn't count as first blood. Who's the first one actually like making moves? I think it's either Frisch or Alfredo. Probably Frisch. First lap we stayed pretty clean. We went too wide. Everyone's happy. Everyone's getting to know the track and stuff. But uh, that's a good point. Brendan missing the start may have saved him. Alfredo changes lanes. Yo, what's up, Kamikaze? It's a party of sorts. Yeah, it's Alfredo. No? Is he gonna be the first one to actually go three wide? Not really. What the hell? We stayed two by two longer than I thought we did. I thought we at least have some dude making it three. What the heck? There it is. It was Alfredo. Alfredo was the first to go three wide with Gary Owen and uh, Cosman pushing him. And this was just the start. Keenan, that's fine. Come hang up. Good vibes. Uh, Alfredo's the first one to make moves, and uh, and he kept making moves. We're on lap four, and uh, Champagne was moving. He was the first one at the front to... I mean, he just saw Gator kind of go up, and Champagne took it. 
Made some moves, got through the middle to the front. What a god, Keenan got in there. And I think the first incident was Gator getting into the wall. I think he just went three wide, just missed the corner a little bit. I don't know, that's not that bad. Lap number six was the fastest lap by number 69. Well, where the hell are you? Are you just back here, just stuck in everyone's draft? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I see you. Uh, and... Is this what lap four looks like in a NASCAR race? <laughs> just dude sticking it up the middle three wide? I kind of loved it, though. Like, I hated it as a driver, but I'm sure it's a great show. Fiasco wasn't scared to go wide, neither was Cozy. Uh, Alfredo definitely wasn't. Here's Cosman trying to, like, stick it in under Cody. And then, oh, what the hell? Ooh, Keenan forgot to turn. Our hero. <laughs> Still racing? That's fine. Uh, just... I want you to hang out, but maybe you don't have to see, you know, everything. Because, uh... Because, yeah. Swatting for sloppy is so easy, dude. Doesn't do shit for 90% of the race. <laughs> That's good, Danny. That's good. <laughs> dude. I'm real proud of the core. Just every season, it's better and better and better. And I feel like things really fell apart midway through season two when the original dudes like left and dumped the league. And we had to kind of pick up the pieces, somehow get through the rest of season two when they had races scheduled in crazy days. We were doing two a week for a little while. Um, but yeah, we're back. We're doing it properly. And we got NASCAR Xfinity drivers with us. Vargas and Alfredo, they both raced. Alfredo kind of left, but Vargas sat through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool as hell. Anyways, Cozy got bopped in the wall. Uh, I think Keenan apologized, and Cozy was like, nah, you good. It's whatever. It's lap five. Um, but yeah. We Cosman got together? How early? Like, before lap five early, what if? Because I don't... I don't know if... Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're missing anything here. Not sure when it was, but yeah. Anyways, let's start using the next incident button. Uh, and it's gonna be, ooh, Cody on the top of Alfredo on lap six, getting scared, getting the wall. He's all right. Yeah, Alfredo was, uh, he was definitely not scared to, to put his bumper places. Ed, why don't you race with us, man? Everyone go hassle Ed, tell him he should have raced with us instead of pretending to edit the uh, Rickfest videos. Uh, yeah. Here's Alfredo lap 7. Ooh! That's him just scraping the safer for here a little bit. He'll be alright. Um, okay. Here's where it gets fun. Lap 9, the first caution. Well, I mean, we've been going 3 wide for a little while. You got Alfredo on the top. Cody's up there. Frisch is in the middle. Vargas is there. And, uh, Cosmo is leading. Mmm, he kind of... I don't know. He gave Champagne a hole, but that's like a last 10 laps hole. That's not like a first 10 laps hole. You may never race again. What are you, Rusty Walrus? Can I ask what happened to Rusty Channel? What happened to Rusty Channel? You could ask. I ain't gonna answer, because I don't know the answer. But what happened to Rusty Channel? Please let me know. He didn't delete his channel, did he? He's not that stupid. Uh... Yeah. Cosmo gave him a whiff, and Champagne kind of sent it. I mean, that... I don't know where you're going. <laughs> like, even, even if there was a gap, Champagne started on the bottom, and he didn't hit Cosmo until he was, like, here. So he's not holding it down there. I, I think he just... He tried to turn it down, got tight, dumped Cosmo. That sucks. That wasn't going to be a caution, but you know what will be a caution? Ooh, and do and there they go. Lap 10, everybody. And we got wrecked race cars. <laughs> and, uh, and my CPU's not happy about that. Yeah. Ed sounded face reveal? No. Ed sounded trip reveal? That I'm interested in. Anyways, he dumps Cosman, and I, and I guess... Karma has it that they ended up going four wide. 
uh, because Keenan goes under him and Cody goes over him and Alfredo's already there. <laughs> Cody bops Alfredo into the wall and just weeble wobbles in the middle. Um, I think he just got scared by Cosman spinning. You don't know where to go. He can't lift because Frisch is behind him. He's kind of boxed in and ends up just kind of tap, tap, tapping around until they all go around. I don't know if that's... Uh... His videos are gone? Ooh. Yeah, Cody, that was, uh... I mean, it's like a panic moment. I get that all you had to do was go in a straight line, but it's easier said than done in these cars. So he, he does go a little one-two on the rest of the pack, and then ends up spinning himself down here. Now, these guys down here check up, and they're fine. Like, Harry gets tipped. Harry, Harry gets a little tap from Champagne, but he's fine. These guys are fine. There's no problems here. That's whatever, you know? Like, a couple people spun it. Rusty probably either unlisted or privated all this stuff. But back in the pack... What the hell? How did this happen? I think I know how this happened. Oh, no. Listen! There are cars wrecking! They're spun! Uh, it's, it's, like, there's, there was a guy who spun! He spun! There's more people up ahead spinning! Where's the brake pedal? Oh, damn. This car won the race. Well, maybe not this car, but the backup version of this car won the race. My car's rendered was at minimum? Oh. <laughs> You're already typing there, Eric? <laughs> I know when I get in those situations where I'm making contact in a pack, I completely lose all spatial awareness. Yeah, because you just try and... Yeah. Yeah, I get it. My car's rendered was at 10, so I couldn't see them wreck. Damn. Well, yeah, they were wrecking. And uh, you had I like that you got sloppy and, and uh, <laughs> Jake took uh, Gator. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Sloppy, you survived, right? Oh, you're currently blinked out, but we'll see the damage. Was it a Ted? Probably because he can't run more than that. Oh, never mind. Actually, there's actually quite a bit of damage there. I, uh... Osman might have been saved by getting dumped here. I guess he would have been in the lead, but still. Cody almost flipped over. That was that was kind of cool. Yeah, you get a nice photo out of that. Mmm! Look at the extension on the suspension bits. Damn. Him and Keenan just kind of spun down here and they were fine. You see everyone getting ass packed behind and then they all blink out. Wasn't that bad. I don't think anyone used their fast repairs here. I don't even- I haven't seen what happened on the last lap. There's a lot of things I haven't seen because I was busy on the track. Yeah, Gator didn't use his fast repair. Neither did Sloppy, which is a good decision. Ooh, hoo -hoo, Gator almost went a lap down. He kept it together. So no fast repairs used. That's wreck number one. Isn't there a wreck under caution here? Oh! Oh, you're right. Uh, Jacob, I was- I saw the broadcast on my other screen, and I just tuned in, and I saw Cozy flipping around on the backstretch. It was gorgeous. It might be one of the best flips we've ever- <laughs> Oh no, Jake! What? Oh. Did he just lock the brakes? Oh. Rusty? I think Rusty hit him. I mean, that's net code, but... Yeah, he got net coded. What the hell? Alright, I I seen some eyes racing net code before, but... I mean, he didn't get hit, right? Like, he, he did not get... <laughs> what the hell, I racing? I racing thinks that Rusty ran into him. <laughs> I don't think that Rusty ran into him. <laughs> But I guess that's not Jake's fault. I mean, there's nothing he could have done. He ends up getting spun around. Oh no! Oh no! 
He oh, it's it's he sat there for the just the perfect amount of time. Where it was like it looks like he's gonna Oh. Big dick energy. Tango, thanks for the energy. Tango Wolf09 <laughs> super chatted two dollars for the super and nine chat. cents. Appreciate it. Um guys, it's DT. It's like just the amount of time we're getting like. Okay, he's sitting there. Okay, I can go under. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and he still didn't use his fast repair. They just gave him front end damage on his rear end damage. Damn. Anyway, we go racing again. And. <laughs> Alfredo, I don't know if he's trying to side suck or just send it in the corner. I know Dale wasn't like right on the line, but still. Fredo's bumping into people. I'm trying to find a lane to go in. I'm excited to watch Alfredo's stream of this because <laughs> he's a bit of a monster in the first bit of this. He, uh, I mean, he was shoving people. He was making moves. Cosmic's making moves. Damn. Ooh. Kyle forgot to turn. What the hell? The bottom of the track's over there, pal. It's a bumping cut. Again with the net code. What the hell? What the hell? We got a couple net code victims here. What if I found your problem? Damn. <laughs> it says that Cosmic bounced into what if that didn't happen. Like everyone back here just trying to <laughs> slow down, check up, avoid the madness. Keenan, where the hell are you going? I guess he just saw someone go in the wall and he was like, eat to the bottom. And, uh, whatever. It spread the pack out a little bit. Um, but we, we closed back up. Don't you worry. <sighs> yeah, so here's the Alfredo Fiasco incident. Where Alfredo's kind of sitting behind Fiasco, goes to... Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. Alfredo might have dumped him. Uh, cause he goes down to the middle, and then Fiasco goes, and that is not a lap 17 block. So he had to lift, Vargas had to like, break. Uh, I did as well. I, I, I had to put myself in the wall to not run Vargas over. I know there's a big gap, but you don't see it until Vargas hits the brakes. And, uh, yeah. I end up getting in the wall, but then... Okay, it's not over up here. Damn. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, and Frisch gets him. Oh, and Rusty gets him. And Gary Owen. Damn. I listen. It's lap 18, y'all. I talked to Fiasco and he was just like, yeah, we both weren't racing like it was lap 18. I, I think that's a, a, a fair analysis of the matter. Because he threw out a real late block, and then Alfredo went up top, and then Fiasco kind of blocked him again. Oh. Fiasco, that might be on you, pal. I don't know if you're here. But, uh... He goes up, and then Fiasco goes to, like, block him down again. And Alfredo's there. I don't know, man. I don't know if I would put that on Alfredo. Like, he was good to make the move, and then Fiasco went left. Then he got his shit dumped. So, uh... I guess he kind of did it to himself. It was a nice looking crash, though. It really was. Oh, and here comes Frisch. Frisch had nowhere to go, neither did Gary. I feel bad for these guys. I, don't, I feel like I haven't seen Gary all night. I've just never been around him on the track. There's a couple people I just didn't encounter on the racing surface. But, uh, yeah. I I think I'd already gotten into the wall, which actually might have saved me. If I was right behind him, I might be dead. But, uh... Yeah, I ended up just breaking, <laughs> letting them all slide out of the way. And, uh, man, Frisch didn't have it too good, huh? It was, honestly... Honestly, Danny, that was a realistic wreck. It really was. One car, like, get, getting himself turned in the wall and mo most everyone else missed it. Um, and a couple people got into it. iRacing core realistic...
crash compilation. What's up, Gary? How you doing? <laughs> Uh, and here, uh, this is what killed Rusty. This is what took him out. Because... What the hell? You get the cone on him. Yeah, this was not a good decision. I don't know if all four of his wheels were on the ground on his screen. But, I mean, he got into this pretty damn hard. Because he didn't turn it left. Oh. And, uh, here's where we're going to clown on iRacing a little bit, alright? iRacing has fast repairs, to where you have, you know, a limited number of opportunities to basically fix the car completely and get a fresh vehicle. Now, when your car is broken and you want to save your fast repair for later in the race, you want to, you know, get them to fix the car as much as possible and, uh, and then keep going, and, you know, even if you're off pace a little bit. Um... But when you sit in the box, iRacing no longer lets you turn on a fast repair. By the way, how did you get this cone? <laughs> he just missed the pits. He's missing a wheel. That wheel's not on the ground. It's not missing, but like, I mean that... Oh, that is in the air. Like that, that is not on the ground. Um, I don't think Rusty was aware. I guess he should have been considering how slow he was, but he chose to not take his fast repair. And then he's locked in. Once you get in your box and you have not selected a fast repair, you're stuck. Uh, so they had to go ahead and fix all of the suspension and it took a very long time and he went very many laps down because of it. And uh, it's gonna get someone else later on, yeah. Did you call it Gary? Oh no. I, I also wish it would tell you the repair time before you get in the pits. But well, you just kind of have to guess it, you know, which is kind of silly as a driver. That's not, not what racing is. Anyway. That's uh, yeah, that's really what killed him. And uh, he was out from that point onwards. I mean, we were in lap 20 of a 100 lap race and Rusty was done. But yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, lap 22. Uh, I don't know how they saved that, but I think... Kyle missed his line. I think Vargas came up too. Like Vargas came up, Kyle came up, and Dale got scared and it bopped him into the wall and they bounced off it and smacked Harry. Just more of this like weeble wobble stuff. Uh, and this was coming to the end of the stage. And then, what the hell happened here? So Alfredo's on the top of Kyle, Kyle's in the middle. Vargas is on the bottom. Uh, that ended your race too, Kamikaze? What the hell? Did you also have a, uh, the damage thing? I'm trying to figure out what the hell just happened here. So, Alfredo got into Kyle, and then... It, I guess Harry and Champagne just both went for the middle because they got scared because people, it looked like they were going to start wrecking. Yeah, they literally just both went for the same gap and then ended up taking them out. And it got Ben pretty good. I feel bad for Ben. I mean, he was just an innocent bystander. Harry got the inside wall. Booped it pretty good. Um, everyone else kind of got through that. That was just another case of, once again, everyone's just pushing hard. And you ain't, you ain't got to be doing that. I mean, Alfredo kind of started the whole stack up by getting into the side of Kyle. And, uh... Oh, ben smacked the wall pretty good. Cosman did a good job of getting through that. Hold up. Ooh! Woohoo! Yeah, that's pretty close, huh? Alfredo got through as well. Ooh, ooh, he almost got him to Lule. I mean, he got dumped and then kind of bounced off of Harry and kept going. Oh, damn. Who got in the most wrecks tonight? Um, I don't know. Y'all better be keeping track, because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not keeping track of, like, how many wrecks everyone got in. I like the amount of people that... <laughs> Look at the cone! Cozy just shot the cone up into the air. And, uh, some of these guys had to go dodging on the, uh, the big flat here. Alfredo did almost hit the, <laughs> the apex for the road course. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah... 
Wait, I just saw Kamikaze. What the hell? Kamikaze, you're fifth, pal. I think he died in stage two. This is this was the end of stage one. Vargas got the stage win, and I apologize for the uh, the miscommunication. Um, I called it on the radio. I don't know if Champagne heard it, but when there's a caution like before the end of the stage, they don't have to lead like the exact stage lap. Vargas got the stage. Um, why are we, why are we looking at what if here? Our right, iRacing is just showing that to us. Okay. Uh, lap 27. <laughs> Jesus, that's louder than I thought. <laughs> Thanks for something. Um, so this is like the very start of the stage, of stage two. Stage one was messy. We had a few cautions. And uh, Jake got caught by the safer barrier. That's a classic. Yeah, you don't have this problem in modern Daytona, because the safer barrier goes all all the way around the track. But back in the day, he used to only be in the turns, and I think Jake forgot. And it's nowhere for Sloppy to go, you know, get sucked in. You've never seen that alert before? That's, that's an all-time classic. Are we curious about who got in the most wrecks when we know the answer is pit road cones? That's true. Oh, what's up, Schleiss? How you doing? You yelled at Joey for this? I hate what the hell what the hell was Sloppy supposed to do? Hold up. Where's he supposed to go? I mean, Alfredo's right there, Jake's slowing down. Unless he slammed the brakes, then he'd probably spin out. Told him to get away from Jake and he didn't listen. Alright, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll be right. Alright, here we go. Lap 29. Kamikaze on the top. Ooh. Just bouncing into the wall. That's fine. But this was chaos. I mean, the, the front pack, they just never stopped going three wide. And uh, Kyle's not that not that good at running the middle, because he... <laughs> it's about the second time he's just slid up and bumped people. A bit of netcoat on Frisch, but god damn, what the... Did he save that? I didn't see how intense that was. I knew he saved it, but I didn't know he was like, hold on. Let's just, I just want to look at the, look at the hands. Watch, watch, the, look at the white gloves. A fresh wheel in this thing when he gets smacked. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Dude, and he stays at speed too. Like he was at worst going 181 miles an hour. Oh my God. I don't know how you do that and you aren't like you aren't dumping Kyle or hitting the brakes or anything. God damn Frisch. Shout out to Cozy for, for <laughs> lifting off and giving him the space to make that save too. Let's hear what they have to say. I'll do it for Lul though, because he had a connection problem. It's flipping around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was something. <laughs> Up that for your next promo clip. God damn right, brother. <laughs> Holy crap. I, I didn't realize how crazy that was. That might be save of the race. Like, I mean, what? The, what? The, the fact that he did that while up on the third lane, like right next to someone. Count me impressed. Holy hell. Damn. Damn. Uh, lap 33. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there they go. I don't know about this one. Vargas, uh, who'd have thought the two Xfinity drivers making this much trouble, huh? <laughs> like... Vargas slides up in front of Alfredo. Eh, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, he was clear. You know that Alfredo's gonna have the run out of the corner. It was a dangerous block, but also you can lift on lap 33, and Alfredo did not. Uh, and ended up, you know, booping him into the wall, and then it's cozy. There's no way for him to go because he's got Frisch on his ass. He ends up tapping Alfredo, gets into Cody, unfortunately. I don't know how the hell Cozy 
cranks it left, and I guess barely taps Alfredo. Most people just take it to the grass, but there's a few people who got caught up in this. I think what if it's champagne each got a, a good amount of damage. Vargas slid up, like, aggressively. Um, Alfredo could have lifted, but he didn't. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, I feel bad for what if, because it's like Cozy drives away, and then the last second you just see <laughs> that's 33. He actually, like, he lifts Alfredo up into the air. Like, he's already sideways, but he gets a little, uh, <laughs> a little hop into the air. Cody, meanwhile, gets ass-packed by Champagne. <laughs> Frisch got through that somehow. Frisch just gassed it, kept it on the wall, and ooh, that gap closed right behind him. Uh, I just cranked it left. I saw these guys going around and I was just going way down into the grass. <laughs> Gator did the same thing. Um, that's what valences can do, y'all. Your splitter could never. Uh, except an eye raising, but probably be fine. Um, but yeah, Vargas, I think, I think he claimed that one. There's no, like, official claims in core, but I think he was like, yeah, that was my bad. Um. Yeah. So that was that was lap 34. Still a good amount of cars in this thing. Um, then we go green again. What the hell? Jake forgot where the turn goes. It wasn't even close. Damn. Hold it, buddy. Hold it. There you go. Oh, come on, Jake. There you go. You let everyone by. Uh, lap 43, so we're nearing the end of stage 2. Mmm! Frisch is digging. Frisch was digging this top side. Kyle goes to, to try and get some blockage or a push or something. This is when, uh... Look at this pretty bastard leading the race. Isn't that cool? Is Jake new to iRacing? Uh... I wouldn't say he's new to it, he just does not do it often. Yeah. Ooh. Frisch should have seen that coming. Like, there, was, there wasn't anywhere for Kyle to go. Frisch kind of, like, made the move to go under him a bit too late. Ended up bopping him into the wall. Somehow survived. Shout out to Champagne for getting on the, the anchors. And did not running over the 91 there. They got, like, right under his bumper. Damn! Ooh. And uh, we kept cooking at the front. <laughs> this pack was crazy. This was the end of stage two, and this was some of the craziest. We were just three wide the whole way around. Like, we were just constantly three wide. The 33 and Frisch went up there. So Alfredo Frisch on the top side. You got Cosman and, and Ryan in the middle, and then you got me and Dale on the bottom. And it's like a triple tandem with the whole pack behind us. That's a thing of beauty. Like, that is beautiful racing. But, but we have a problem. Harry Tiller, I'm sorry. Harry, I love you. But, <laughs> this, uh, it, you misjudge things sometimes. It happens. Um, and I, I, yeah. Oh, what's up, NJC? How you doing? We're three wide. Harry has damage from the earlier Harry, team. you might have to go away from here. Uh, ooh, was that loud? We're here. Sorry if that was loud. Cool. And yeah, we're going three wide. Yeah, we're three solid. I was like, I'm on the mic. Harry, you might want to go we're to the apron. Looking. And, uh... Alright, nobody trying to take it four wide on the apron. Like a knobhead. Is that a man right in the stream? You're blocking oh, the stream, I'm hey! Tego, thanks for the 69 bits. You kind of did it at a not great moment, but I'll take it. Anyway. Sorry, sorry to... to right, nobody had you not see that. On the but, uh, like a knobhead. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Check out, check out. Yeah, you can't see much, because he actually... He did get hit. Which is what really blows my mind. But, uh... Sorry, Harry. Listen. It happens, all right? You think you have more grip down here than you actually do. Uh, 
And you missed the bottom. And I saw it happening and I knew it was going to happen. And I... I don't know how I didn't eat his ass. I mean... Ooh! I barely got through there. But it clipped him. Like you could see the, the front of my card deforming. It clipped him. And it like checked me up. Afraid of ranting about this? Oh no. Harry, you might not want to tune into a fast pasta on Twitch. And it just slowed me down, and then the 27 got into me, and Vargas got into Alfredo, and he rode the fence, and he got his ass eaten by Frisch. And Kamikaze was in it, and Harry ended up getting Brendan, and there goes Dale. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. They're trying to talk Break over pedal the one on the left. Well, Alfredo's not happy about getting ass packed, apparently. Oh, he got ass packed by Frisch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Check out, check out. God damn. I mean, to be fair, Frisch oh, did I'm break. So he got hit by sorry. Kamikaze, but Kamikaze was right behind him. I mean, there's not much he can do. He was oh, he was out of the gas I'm, too. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Harry. But uh. Oh, it just gets clipped by Frisch, kind of saves it, then goes back up, and taps the wall. Damn. Brendan got killed, too. Uh, great looking paint scheme, by the way. Also, another one of my cars ruined in, <laughs> in these wrecks. I feel bad for Dale, he was blind. I mean, dude, if we go on board with Dale, it might be scary here, because he was like, he was tucked up under my rear bumper. I don't think you can even see like Harry Tiller at any point in this footage. Oh, and there he is. That is too late. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, oh, what the hell? He got slammed. I don't know who that was. The beginning of the end, oh no. Oh, that was just Brendan going in a completely different direction after he got packed by Harry. Cozy avoided all this. Because he just braked and just was, just went grass. <laughs> Everyone's wrecking all over the place. He ended up getting through, he hit the damn jump. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, and then these guys at the back just checked up in time, but oh baby. We got some wrecked cars. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, TS, I'm excited to, to get there. Alfredo just gave up at this point, I think. The car was broken. He already he he used his fast repair really early too. I don't know if he meant to do that or if he did it by accident, but that was that was it. Um Yeah, this was this was a lot of people using fast repairs. See here's the thing, it's like if you have just bumper damage then you're fine. You're completely fine with a uh, with with just taking your optional damage. But as soon as there's there's a suspension problem, then you got you got to you got to take your, your fast repair because any suspension thing is going to give you required, and then you, you're screwed. So uh, yeah, this is what killed uh, Lul. What are the eights in chat? <laughs> Watch Sloppy's on board. Uh, in this one? Didn't you just break? Oh, you didn't break. Oh. Oh. Probably shoulda, <laughs> but didn't. And that's that. I didn't know it was gonna lock. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you live and you learn how stupid I racing is sometimes. It's just, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. You and Rusty both got caught out by the same thing. Uh, at least you didn't quit the league, damn. But uh, yeah, that sucks. That was that was pretty much it for Lul, cause. That was a lot of required repairs.
Um, and everyone else kind of came in. I get it, how you do it. Uh, you haven't missed much. Oh yeah, you're good. Uh, oh. Keep on, I just realized I should give you mod on YouTube. I haven't done that yet. Let me do that. There you go. All right. What's up, working? Did someone quit the league? Yeah, uh, the, uh, Rusty said he's not going to race anymore. But I would love to have him commentating. What's up, Cosmo? Brandon's out here in a wrecked car. Ben's out here in a wrecked car. But I think he's still at his, his fast. Yeah, nine, nine down is a lot. <laughs> so, anyways. We got going after lap 50, and we kept going. Like, what is this, lap 65? Oh. This is what ended Vargas' day. Like, this right here. And I hate it. He had just a little bit of damage. Which was, like, mostly fixed, and he was, he was hanging with the pack. Um, and uh, we're going to go on board here with Brian Vargas. Jacob, I, I, you, I, you probably didn't catch this, but take a listen. I guess it kind of sounds like he lifted. Uh, he went to go press the T button on his keyboard. Uh, he missed by three keys, and he pressed I, and it shut his engine off. <laughs> he luckily got back on the engine pretty quick, but at that point, uh, yeah, the draft was lost, and he had just too much damage to get back into it. Kind of sucks. But yeah. He hit the ignition key. And that was that. And it ended up holding up Fiasco and Frisch as well. For the rest of the pack. This is where everyone got, like, super single file, and, uh, kind of went from there. But, uh, yeah. Lap 71. I don't know what Harry and Kyle were doing. Uh, I guess Harry's pitting, and iRacing wants us to see that. Okay. Because this is, this is where, uh, ooh, we gotta look at pit stuff now. Lap 77 is when, uh, is when I said I would pit. And that's when most of the leaders came in. Uh, we got people trying to be funny in the chat. Hope that was worth the, uh, 10 minutes or whatever it took you to set that count up. Um, everyone's single file, and pretty much the entire first group, like, all of these guys were ready to pit. Um. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> Champagne locked him up, and he locked him up good. These tires are race worn. I mean, we'd done a full fuel run. Well, not full because in these cars, like, I restrict the the fuel tanks a little bit. But these tires have been used. We're at bumpy Daytona, all right. This isn't like this isn't a smooth track. You use the tires around here, and. uh Champagne just locked him down too much and slid. Now, where's the where's the speed limit line in iRacing? Because you would think it's on the yellow codes. I, I think that's where it's, iRacing officially says the speed limit starts. Uh, ben was a lap down, so he was ahead of us, but here comes the whole pack. But Champagne at the line was doing uh, 79 in a 65, so that's going to be a speeding ticket. Cosman locked up as well uh he's doing 74 here's me uh i managed to get it down to 69 nice um <laughs> you got cody clocking in at 79 damn you got cozy clocking in at 57 uh so i don't think he got the speeding penalty Yellow is commitment. So where's the where's the Is it the dash line is the speed? Where the hell is the speed? Or is it this? Cuz hold on, did Champagne get a penalty? Yeah, Champagne got one. Uh it's whoever's left, right? So Dale, Champagne, and Cody were the only ones speeding. Everyone else made it.
It means it must be this. It must be this dashed line, because he was doing 69. Yeah, it must be the dashed line for the speed. So yellow is the commitment line. Um, which means Champagne was doing e 68 on the way in. Osman got it 62. I thought it was the the yellow line, so I slowed down a lot. <laughs> it was 57. Cody at 69 is too much. Cozy got it, uh, and Dale just missed. I think he just locked it down. Oh, he was just breaking too late. Locked him up. Mmm. Yeah, that, yeah, that sucks. Uh, everyone else, I think, generally made it through okay. Oh, he missed his box, too. I think I missed my box as well, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the- it must be the dot- the dash line. There's a lockup buffer? I don't know exactly how it works. But like, I was over speed at the yellow line, but not at the white line. Or the dash line, or whatever this is. So yeah. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. So... I'm- I'm in essentially second place at this time. Like, I would have been in the lead pack with Keenan. And my pedals take a poo. Like, I guess I gotta clean the damn potentiometers again. But it's something where if I put the pedal to 100 and then push a little bit more, uh, then then it, it goes off the gas, which is exactly what happened. Oh, it might be segmented. But I, I'm fine here, and then I push too hard on the gas, and it... It goes there and it drops down to like, I don't know if you could see it, but I would not be at, at that little gas at this point. Um, but yeah. And it ends up, it, it's checking up just as we're coming off the corner and Cosman goes, boop. It's not Cosman's fault, he was, he was trying to check up for me. But I ended up just going way out of the gas at a bad time. I mean, look at that, there's no gas in that. Um, so I got punted. I didn't realize how close that was. God damn. That was like... I mean, any more. I... I, <laughs> I am looking at the inside wall. <laughs> That's the inside wall over there. That's where you don't want to go. And, uh... Ooh, baby. Shout out to this part being paved. Uh, what up, Daytona, for, for doing the super stretch stuff down here and letting me save the car. Um, I'm quite proud of that, honestly. All things considered, that ain't too bad. Yeah, we're doing alright. Uh, so I ended up back here with some of the slow pit stop guys. Uh, it's a blinky what <laughs> So we hung out back here. Meanwhile... You got the lead group of cars, all right? So like Cozy, Gator, Cosman, uh, Keenan, all these guys. Ben's already a lap down from his damage earlier, and he'd lost the draft. And then you got these boys, uh, who I think all had speeding penalties. And this pack just ended up picking up people. It ended up just being like, also, that's not save of the year. Frisch got save of the year, for sure. Dude, this pack of cars, it just started picking up lap cars, and then a lap car would get involved in the pack, and they just keep going around, and they just pick up more. And it ended up being just a cluster of, like, there's some lead lap cars, and there's some lap down cars, and they're all just in this big line. Like, look at this. Cosman's leading, Cozy's second. Ben's a lap down. Kamikaze's a lap down. Uh, Fiasco's on the lead lap. Keen's on the lead lap. Dale's a lap down. Joey's on the lead lap. Marcus is a lap down, Gator's on the lead lap, Gary's on the lead lap, and so is Eric. And it's just like... Yeah. Got an unsafe entry and I didn't even know how. Ooh, we'll take a look. That sounds interesting. I'm, I'm curious. Oh, you hit the cone! You can't hit the cone! Yeah, that's why. Damn. Ooh. Yeah. And it's the commitment cone. 
And it's gonna be a penalty. That sucks. But, uh, yeah. Only six cars in the pack were on the lead lap. Yeah, and it just kept growing. Like, throughout the course of this green flag run, <laughs> this pack just kept getting bigger. Because there would be slow cars up ahead, and then they'd just get eaten up. Like, the pack would just come up and just pick them up, and then they just get... They all sucked into this big pack of cars. Like, look at these guys ahead. Well, this got crazy. I, I, I'm kind of glad I wasn't a part of this because I was busy, you know, here. Just, you know, having a nice, calm little Tuesday night drive with Brendan and what if. Um, and these guys were just, I mean, they're going too wide. Look at this. Cosman's on the lead lap. So is Cozy and Fiasco and Keenan. And we got lap cars on the bottom. But then there's another line of lap cars. So there's five lead lap cars in the top, and then there's a bunch of lap down cars in the bottom, and then the lead lap cars end up getting split up. And then, oh, what the hell happened to Keenan? Then the lap down cars are all racing for the lucky dog. So uh, it's kind of yeah, it's 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 messy. It's real messy because they all want to be the lucky dog, and then. He kind of cranks it down. Well, that's a bit of net code as well. What the hell? He shouldn't have bopped off of Ben that hard, but he ends up getting on the wall, and uh, he's losing the draft to that main group. But, like, Cosman gets down in front of the lappers, but Cozy doesn't, so it's like Cozy and Fiasco on the top, but Champagne and Frisch are lapped down, and they don't want to lift because they want to be the lucky dog. And there's, like, there's not really much I could do about that. I told the drivers going in, I said, hey, if you have lap down cars in the pack, like, I said, give the leaders room to make moves. Obviously, that didn't happen. But, like, do I blame them? No, not really, because they all trying to get the lucky dog. And when you're in a big pack like this at Daytona, I don't know. I think it's just kind of a, uh, a product of plate racing. This and, and long green flag runs where you got big groups of cars going lap down. I don't know if there's much that, that that could have been changed there. For real. Um, so it ended up being funky because, you know, Frisch and Champagne are lap down, and then these guys in the top are lap up, but Ben's not, so then Gator's just kind of stuck back here. He's got... Oh! Yeah! <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna put it on TV cam. I'm just gonna put it on the TV camera. And we will enjoy one of the greatest flips I think the Core League has ever seen. Um, simple as that. Take it away, Michael Cosey Jr. Oh no! He blinked out! What? That was such a good flip! Oh, it's because I was on the other side of the track. I'm so disappointed. I wanted to see that flip in all of its glory. Damn. That's the line. How would you like to see this happen in front of you? This was a glorious flip. God. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, I'll be honest. Fiasco, like, went high and then didn't. And just kind of dumped Cozy. Um, that was just, uh, made a decision, and then he, he didn't make a decision, and then Cozy gets killed. I know he didn't blink on the broadcast. If you want to see it, uh, youtube.com slash the core league. Go on the broadcast, uh, go to lap 98, so like two to go, um, and you'll be able to see him flip. He didn't blink anywhere else because I'm on this side of the track. So it blinks people out who are like away from you on the track, and I was, I was on literally the opposite end. Um, but, yeah, that kind of sucks. So bad for Cozy, but man, what a beautiful crash. Sloppy ends up, like, pitching him up into the air. Uh, oh, I feel bad for these guys. Oh, Lua went to avoid it in the grass and just gets a face full of Sloppy. Damn, that's not something you ever want. Um, yeah. Cozy had it, had it real bad. Yeah, click on that, the core. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and Cozy ends up just flipping over and just sliding down the back stretch. 
Oh, someone's got to put... Someone's got... Oh, someone's got to take this and put the, uh... The you have wrecked your car, uh, like, on top of it. Listen. I'm gonna get out of the way. Why don't you take a screenshot and do the NASCAR 05, like, you have wrecked your car thing. Or you blew your engine, or whatever it is. Go ahead. Take your screenshot and make your memes. I'm g it's free content. I'm just giving it to you. There you go. Alright. <laughs> It, it was honestly really realistic. I kind of wish I could, uh... Look at... Ah, I love this. I really like this flip. He goes, smacks the wall, and it lifts him up. And then Sloppy, like, tips him into the air, and he rolls it over. And he got a... F oh, it's like right when it gets good that it cuts out, too. Where's the bro... I'm pulling the broadcast up on the street. YouTube.com slash The Core League. Listen. Let me, uh... Let me pull this up. Uh, and the but the and the but the 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 do that. The, 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 there we go. Look at that. Fancy stream and setup. Cool. Um, because I wanna I wanna pull this. I wanna see I wanna see this wreck because <laughs> it must have been glorious. All right. I mean, it was, it was gorgeous. It was a thing of beauty. Let's just jump ahead. I think it was two to go. Oh, here it is. Boop. And he goes up. Oh, what a beautiful flip. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. That's solid. That is, that is, it's like, it's weirdly satisfying, you know? I mean, he goes, he goes up once, two, three, four and a half flips. Oh, is, is that a, that might be a, a core high score. Have we ever had someone barrel roll like that? Like, I know it's happened sometimes in heat, but has it happened in one of the races? Have we had more than four barrel rolls? Let me know down below. Listen up, the core. It's kind of blowover-ish. That was tasty. That's a good wreck. That, that's it's weirdly satisfying. <laughs> that whole that whole thing. I wish I could see it in the replay, but I guess we we can still get a good photo from like. <laughs> oh man, that kind of sucks for Cozy, but yeah, Bull got wrecked as well. But was already kind of out of it. it. Was many laps down. This saved my ass because, I mean, we're coming to two to go here. I was, me and what if, we were here. <laughs> we were like on the opposite end of the track. I'm an eighth. What if is a ninth? Um, but yeah, that that just brought us back into the picture, and, and we were two of the people in the four wide finish. So, yeah, there is one thing I want to see though. With I saw at one point Jake was just sideways on the back stretch, so we're gonna have to figure that out. We have to find <laughs> find Jake and see what the hell happened. Because I I swear he wrecked at some point. Jake, do you know what lap you were spun around on the- Someone spun on the backstretch. I might just go from my view and skip forward until I find it. But there was a-, a there was definitely a point somewhere here where someone was- No, 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 it was- it was just randomly. Where was Jake around you? Also, why did Eric pit? Eric was in sixth. And he pitted under green like a second time right before uh, things got bad. Oh, what's up, Daisy? How you doing? Shortly after pits, got it. All right, so here are pits. Where is Jake? Jake is back here. Well, 
I'm gonna have to just go through this and figure this out. Oh, I made from lap 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We looked at that already, Gator. Yeah, don't you worry. I'm trying to think of the... Uh... I Was it Brendan? Oh, it was. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's Brendan's fault, Jake. What are you doing? What? Jake just stopped coming out of the corner. That has dumped. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? I remember what if and I were going here and we're just like, what the hell happened? There's just some dude spinning down there. Oh, what? Yeah, he just lifted way too hard. I did see the retro reverse jerseys, yeah. 78 on me coming out of pit lane. We'll take a look. We'll take a look. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was me. Yeah. Yeah, Dale, that was me. <laughs> we already talked about this. Too. That, was, that was me getting smacked around. And everyone's like, oh, they're wrecking, they're wrecking, or something like that. And I was just like, Ugh, just trying to keep the car alive. Ooh. No. Yeah, we lived. We're doing all right. Okay, let's go up to that uh, that wreck at the end then. Because that's when things got super fun. For me, at least. Not for, not for the guys that wrecked. That sucks. Um... So I think Cozy had to take a tow because he was upside down, so he was kind of screwed. Um, I mean, if there's any way to go out in the Daytona 250, it is it is barrel rolling down the back stretch. Um, Floppy had a lot of damage. We don't talk about this. Thank you. I'm, I'm proud of that safe. <laughs> Uh, I was just trying to pace yeah, around. Yeah, that down getting in the way. Hey, we gotta fight for something, all right? Yeah, appreciate it. That was that was a lot of fun. Thank you. Floppy, what the hell? <laughs> Ty, the, the tire literally just popped, dude. I'm so sorry. It literally just popped. <laughs> I love that reaction. Like, what the hell? What was that? <laughs> His tire went down. It, like, it was literally like... I wasn't even trying to, like... I guess I was I was sort of trying to pass him, but you can see he just starts going in a straight line right there. Yeah. And uh I mean you could look at his oh never mind, you can't yeah, look at his hands because it, it, it doesn't use the steering wheel yeah, once you have suspension. Thank you. But yeah. His tire just goes down right here and it just bops me into the wall and I was Floppy, like, what the hell? Oh, I didn't think I got that much damage the, the from it. The tire literally just popped, dude. I'm so sorry. It literally just popped. I'm like damaged. I'm sorry. So I was fine. All right. <laughs> nah, I was just like, yeah, all right. Yeah. I, I could tell it was a tire problem when I was getting into my pit box and I saw this. And I was like, yeah, he's, he's got issues. <laughs> I'm trying to see you flopping around the pit lane here. Because you go to brake and then <laughs> it's like breaking your suspension. What's sloppy. That was a broken ass car. Ah, uh, there you go. You made it. That's impressive. Oh yeah, uh, is your car driving all right? <laughs> Gary saw the same thing. <laughs> Wouldn't find if all the lap cars were there, but nah, it was killed. Yeah, it sucked. But anyways, you got your fast repair. You saved it for that. Some people I didn't. Be that guy, but it said there's something about that in the rule book. Yeah, it's interesting. Are everybody else just pit stops 25 seconds? Um. I think I'm gonna have to go back and review who was like shoving their way around in the pack, because it is in the rule book that you aren't supposed to to race the leaders when you're in the pack. If the game gets better in the future, yeah, dude. If it's a good game, I'll I'll gladly play it. Uh, fortunately, that is not the case. Uh, <laughs> quite quite simply, that is that is not the situation that we are currently in. Um, but yeah, then we get lined up, and this is the overtime restart. This is where the money is made. Uh, we got Cosmos starting at the front. We got Fiasco on the outside, then it's Gator, me, What If, 
Keenan, Sloppy, Gary, Champagne, and a few others. Caleb, stop memeing on the core account. God damn it. Anyway. You know it's gonna be crazy. It's it's a damn overtime restart. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is, this is what, 12 cars in the lead lap? So, uh. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see how we go. Cosman, of course, is the leader, so he gets a good start. Keenan, not so much. Sloppy didn't get a good one either, so it's kind of the first five breaking away. Cody's P11. So I think Kamikaze is one lap down. Um. Oh, actually. Champagne, Cody, and Dale are a lap down. So Gary's the last car in the lead lap. So there's only eight on the lead lap. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think eight? Yeah, eight. Plus, I think there might be a free uh, pass in the back somewhere. Yeah. You got a flip, Kyle? I'll take a look. I'm excited. We've had we've had some satisfying flips. Cozy's flip. Hmm, very nice. So, eight cars in the lead lap. These guys are all lapped down. Four by four. Uh, and we're coming to the white flag. I I'm proud of this. I was laying it into fiasco here. I was shoving them all the way down the back stretch. He clears Cosman but doesn't go down. We kinda check up on the top. They ooh. <laughs> Listen. If this wasn't lap 102, I would be upset. This is lap 102. I'm not upset. That was cool. Uh, we're coming to the white flag. And he's kind of trying to block both lanes, but that's kind of what kills him. If he had if he'd kept it on the line, he would have been okay, but he went kind of Dale Jr. and moved up, and then Cosman's there. And he can't go back down because he's going to get himself dumped, so he gets stuck in the middle. Um... And then everyone's got to run. So that's the white flag. We are on the final lap of the motor racing event, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, the pack is pretty solid. Uh, Cody's a lap down, isn't he? We got a few lap down dudes kind of in the fight, but... Fiasco's still stuck in the middle three wide. Actually, I don't really know what happens here because I was ahead of it, luckily. But, uh, oh! Listen, <laughs> Red Panda, thanks for the sub. This wouldn't be as funny if Keenan didn't meme, <laughs> like, all of today that he was going to wreck Fiasco. <laughs> and then it's on the last lap. And what does he do? <laughs> he goes, boop, at his quarter panel. And there goes Fiasco. And, uh, yeah. It kind of sucks. It's a last lap racing deal. Sloppy's already got him, like, pinched about to the limit. So I think Keenan was just kind of working off of Sloppy's line and just worked off it a little bit too much. And he ends up just, just, I mean, he hit him. That's not net code. He, he, he hit him. He hit Fiasco. Sloppy, ah, there's nowhere to go for Sloppy. That kind of sucks. Like, that was a clean pinch, and the guy behind you gets turned, and you go around. Bam. Um, and everyone's in it. And Jesus Christ, some of the guys back here just accelerated into it. I mean, it's the white flag. It's what you do, but... Oh, good lord. Jake gets hit for breaking. That's a first. Um, and everyone else is shoving it in. Kamikaze's climb. Oh, hell yeah, look at this. Oh, <laughs> He gets lifted up by Harry. This is awesome. This is, uh... <laughs> you can see Harry's dumb face at the side of the <laughs> That's quality. Yeah, I just want to get a good shot of him climbing the fence. It's like Ricky Craven style as Sloppy's getting turned around. Uh... Yes, there is a king... <laughs> yes, Keenan is Kia gang. He has a Kia Stinger stock car. Meanwhile... In the most fitting of paint schemes. Racing Nation TV. Kyle Cuthbertson. From the back. Just sending it. 
Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh no. Oh damn. Oh. That was pretty good. You like stood it up on the side, kept flipping some more. That was a solid wreck. And he drove that thing to the finish. What a legend. Oh, what the hell? That was cool. Yeah, it's exactly it exactly reminds me of the Ricky Craven wreck. <laughs> and Kamikaze finished it? Hell yeah. Who the hell is this? Oh, Eric's like blinking out. But he ended up going like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> he got wrecked real bad. Here comes Kyle. <laughs> this wreck was great. This is fantastic. Damn, if oh, it was just a little sliding down and he was on the brakes. He just get tipped. Mm. Yeah, he has a Kia. Yeah. He, uh, he's in a Kia. It's uh, it's actually a pretty good template. I saw it on the forums. It's a little bit wonky in the front just because the car is asymmetrical, but it is like <laughs> It even has I don't know if you can see it very well, but it has like the stinger like the tail light wraparound bits. It's really good. The rear end of it, I'm very impressed with. Honestly. Um, <laughs> the front end is... It's funny. It's interesting. It's the only Kia in the core. Uh, there's no Toyotas, by the way, in the core. There's just a Kia. <laughs> but yeah. Cody kept that thing rolling, too. He was getting squeezed on the high side. Damn, he ate a lot of dudes eating the wall back here. God damn. Chris ends up going on the grass, Ben's down on the grass. Here's <laughs> the 91 flipping Harry running into it. Damn. <laughs> the 91's popping up and down. Oh, what the hell happened to Vargas? Oh, he, he, he went down and he was three and there's nowhere for anyone else to go. Vargas ended up getting- Oh! Harry! <laughs> Harry just slides right into him. How many Monte Carlos? I'll give you a count uh, after the race table. Remind me. After we go through all these things, I'll, I'll count all the cars. He's got his hood on his damn... It's like covering the right half of his windshield? And he avoids the flipping car and Lul... Uh... I guess he didn't expect Vargas to come down like that and stop dumping him. Oh, he lost the hood finally. Damn. The TikTok code in the middle of the backstretch. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, shout out real quick, Ride Pistana Designs for making the uh, the cool TikTok design. I I was the one who stuck it on this body, but I mean, he designed the damn thing. TikTok car ran out of time. There it is. Um, so some some of the lead lap cars got absolutely destroyed in this. I feel bad. Especially because, like, Gary and, and What If were down here. Ooh! And, uh... Then there's the run to the finish. And you knew the run to the finish was gonna be good. Because it strung everyone out, and it just gave... It, it's all these, these monster runs coming to the finish. I knew I was screwed. As soon as this happened... And everyone died except for the cars directly behind me, I was like... Damn. Like, oh, <laughs> this wasn't going to be good. I was glad that Cosmos stayed behind me here because he could have gone to the top, but he didn't, which actually ended up probably being a smarter move. And I knew he was going to go above me, and I went up to sort of give him a little something something, and Gator just sent it. And I should have been on the apron, and I forgot. But I also might have died going to the apron, so I don't really know. It was tough. It was just like, mm. Gator had all the momentum, and he made the move at the perfect time. Like, look at his bumper relative to mine. Are you kidding me? You can't time a move better than that. I don't know if you could see it that well, because, uh... Oh, I ran out of music. Let's try that again. Um... Look at this. Look at this, look at this absolute god-tier car placement from Gator. You don't make a move that close. He... I'm pretty sure he literally just like slotted his bumper under my bumper on like the perfect corner. 
That is a race winning move, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. What? Like he was that close to, to wrecking me and, and biffing the whole thing, but he didn't. And god damn, did it work out. I had to give him a little door slam because I knew he was going to win it. So I ended up bopping off him, bopping into Cosman. Um, God, it didn't really change anything, but... What a finish. What a damn finish. So, uh, yeah. Well done, Gator. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Four wide. Literally, like... No cap, four wide at the line. What if made the move, but he was just like a little bit too far back? That's as good as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. If you think that was a bad race, uh, and quite frankly, I'm not interested in you watching this. <laughs> what the hell? That's what. Oh my god, and to have Fiasco, Fiasco was 5th at the end of all of it, Gary comes home 6th. What a damn finish. And we all bounced off each other, so... <laughs> Look at what if! Hold on, hold on, hold on. This... Oh my god! He actually catch-fenced it. Yeah, NASCAR wishes they could do that. That was about as good as it gets. Look at the... This might be the best height we've gotten on one of these wrecks. That right there could be a solid screenshot. <laughs> Look at that! Look at what if eating the damn fence! <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. my camera situated again um yeah what a race <laughs> these are all the, the damaged guys coming to the line afterwards they're all spread <laughs> what the hell little can't even drive his car it's so broken <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at these guys racing back here for these last few positions oh man what the hell happened with sloppy Oh, Kyle, where the hell are you going? Did he lose a tire, too? I think these are all just broken cars. I'm bopping into sloppy. <laughs> Vargas is finishing looking like this. Here comes the Kia. Oh, here comes the Kia. <laughs> I feel bad for all the broken-ass cars, but... Uh, damn, that was a good show. Yeah. Shut up, the core. Shut up. I'd ask for your opinion, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is where he ended up. I heard you talking about it in the Discord, but I didn't see you, so I didn't know exactly what was going on. He's like, what the hell? He's like raining parts of car. Oh, he's blinking now. What is he sitting there? What the hell? How did you get up here? Oh. We'll try to free you. And then Kamikaze came in. <laughs> We'll get you again here. Oh, yeah, there's Kyle. Oh, yeah. Listen, the fans get a great view of the race. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a fun-ass race. That was cool. I'm, I'm back on the core hype trade. Listen, <laughs> I've been working like... Basically, the last two days of my life have been doing core stuff, doing graphic stuff, uh, doing paint schemes, just organizing things, getting drivers in it. Oh! I'm so glad that the past few days have been fantastic. I think the duels were perfect. The duels were just the right amount of everyone just sending it, having great fun. Uh, and this was the perfect amount of, like, a little bit chaotic, but also you had some pit strategy. And then uh, we had... I mean, the finish doesn't get better than that. All right, you want your manufacturers? Here you go. Here are your core manufacturers uh, of the guys that made this race. There might be some different people next week.
Uh, here we go. We got an Impala. We got another Impala. We got another Impala. We got a Taurus. We have Illumina. With <laughs> Illumina. Uh, Impala. My Fusion. My Fat Fusion. Impala, Impala. Monte Carlo. I painted that one. Impala. <laughs> Freaking Kia. Impala, Impala. Monte Carlo, because I painted that one. Monte Carlo. Uh, Cosmo painted that. We got a Fusion for Frisch. Impala and Impala. A Monte Carlo, because I painted that one. And an Impala, Impala, Impala. Yeah. Which makes sense, because it's obviously by default it has Impala stickers on it. That's what it is. Now Impala sounds weird to me. It doesn't even sound like a word. All right. Um, next Tuesday, Iowa. All right. Completely different kind of race. But imagine this many cars on a dinky little Iowa track. And these things... These cars at Iowa are a damn good time. You got multiple grooves you can go for. It's tough to pass, but you can still do it. And uh, and and they kind of they like slide around a little bit. It's fun. It's cool. There is one Dodge, but he's not here this week. The nine of Trace Rider. Um, there also was another Dodge of David Schildhaus, who ran the Fall Brawl, but because iRacing has their Pro Series on a Tuesday night, he can't show up. Um, but he'll be here for the second half of the season. So will Moonhead. Um. Yeah. Go look at Latell's front after the race or like before the race, because I'm before the race. Um But yeah, I painted this one as well. And yeah, you can read the back of Gator's car is pretty good as far as like ass rear end messages go. Uh he spelled imposter wrong, but other than that, it's pretty damn good. Um <laughs> which is pretty fitting because everyone finished behind him and he ended up winning. So here are your race results. Gator one, Cosman second. I end up getting third. I'm damn happy with that. Uh, the top five are all within a quarter of a second. Jesus H. Christ. The top four are all within a tenth of each other. That's insane. And then there were a lot of wrecked cars. Rusty ended up 77 laps down. Anthony Alfredo left 56 down. Lou will finish, but he was 13 down. Same with Harry being nine down. Uh, yeah. What manufactures the pace truck? It's a Chevy. Uh, it's a Silverado. Whatever the iRacing one is. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning back in the clown reel. I had fun. I like it. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this. And I think in the future, it'll just be like, if there's a great core race, then I'll make a clown reel. This was a great core race. I'm making a clown reel. Um, but obviously some of the Fall Brawl stuff kind of sucked. Phoenix, kind of poo-poo. But we're learning, and we're improving, and I feel like literally each season just keeps getting better and better. And uh, we have we have 10 more weeks of competition in the Core League. I'm super excited. Uh, we, have, we have a damn good show. We got damn good people on board uh, driving, sponsoring, broadcasting, helping us out. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for me. And uh, next Tuesday, 8 p.m., youtube.com slash the core league, Iowa. Uh, in, uh, oops, I should probably know what this race is called. But I'll tell you what it's called, all right? Uh, it is called Iowa Core League. Hello, Google Sheets. I would like to read things. Uh, it will be the Hammer Down 150 from Iowa Speedway. But yeah. Aren't there 12 races? No, there are definitely 11 races, Jacob Hits, the broadcaster. There are 11, like, season races plus an all-star, so I guess... I mean, like, I guess we have 11 more weeks. Um, but the all-star race is also going to be, like, between Christmas and New Year. It's going to be in, like, our winter break, which I think actually works out perfectly. Um, but yeah, there's 11 main series races. All right, that's going to be it for me. Um... Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you. See you. Next week, Tuesday, 8 p.m. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, let me let me put on some hype music to end this at least. Like, hold on, let's get some of that. Uh, let's get some of that. Like, hmm. Oh wait, never mind. You can't hear it because I because I had it faded down. I feel like an idiot. All right. 
Bye.